Hello and welcome along and welcome to Letting Farm. My name is Sam and this is my story. And today, uh, as promised last vlog, uh, we are going to be doing some work with the animals. Wait, they need some uh, feed, uh, they need some power food, and they also need some. Um, they need some water as well. So those are the two jobs we're doing today. I'm trusting my chickens are getting out of the way. Uh, so we've got our bike on here. I actually need to turn the tractor on and get this mixing. There we go. Got that in there. Let's get the tractor started. There we go. And that's mixing now. Fantastic. So uh, yeah, so they don't they don't need a huge amount of food. We're uh, we're pretty good with the uh, with the summertime. They because uh, we're in summer. It's now June the tenth. Uh, they are currently. I mean, there's there's plenty of grass, but the power food also helps keep them uh, healthy and, and happy. So we're gonna we're doing that. Uh, we're not putting any straw in our power food at the moment. Uh, main reason for that is we have far more silage and uh, hay than we do straw. We're a, a bit off actually being able to use the, uh, well, being able to get more straw. Uh, it's going to be a, a month or so before we start the harvest. So, uh, yeah, at least. So uh, I want to make sure that we are... We, met, we have enough to last us till then. Uh, that should be about enough, I think, to feed our cows today. So we will turn this off and go and jump into our little case. There's not a lot to do on the farm at this time of year. Uh, we are going to have to go and roll all our fields. We want to make sure that the grass grows back as, uh, as great as possible. So we might be doing that in a bit. And uh, as you can see, our crops are coming along nicely as well. So we're going to have to, well, in the not too distant future, we're probably going to have to spray them. But as it stands at the moment, we're all right. Uh, the solid fertilizer is still uh, still giving them there a good boost. There we go. Uh, yeah, the other thing our cows need is water, as I said a minute ago. Uh, so I don't know how long this will be. Well, I think I think if we have time, what we'll go and do is we'll probably go and uh, and just start rollering some of our fields. We also actually we also need to get. You can see the mess that they're making. Uh, we need to go and get their. Um, I think that should be all good now. Oh no, that's not. That's still mixing. I think we've got an imbalance in our mix. Uh, I'll have to take this back to the main yard and have a look. That's not good. That should not have been putting out straight hay at that point. Uh, it was, yeah, that, that looks like it was an imbalance in the mix. So we'll head back here and we'll have a look and we'll see how we've got to adjust it to make sure that it's right. But that's a little bit surprising to me. So, uh, yeah, be back in a moment once I've, uh, I've checked it out. So yeah, I was right. There is uh, an imbalance in the mix. We have nowhere near enough silage. Uh, when I looked over the top. And that would explain why it came out and, uh, and was very green when it came out. It just did not have enough silage in it. So what I'm going to do is uh, add another silage bale in. Do it absolutely perfectly, uh, and then uh, once we've done that, what we can go and do? Oh, I should have used the the older silage bale we have sitting out here. Um, what I'm going to do then is uh, is we're going to get the bucket on the front, and we're going to go and clean them out. So there's there's lots. There actually is lots to do with cows today. It's all about the cow maintenance, uh, but that should give us enough. I will have a look. I will check the mix again. Go and check the mix. 
Wow, that's that's really that's still looking really green in there. I think we I think we'll put this older silage bale in as well and try try that. But yeah. I forgot how much this holds. How much this takes. And we, we do have a lot of um, we have an awful lot of uh, hay in there. I don't know what I did. I must have uh, must have run out of silage. Well, we ran low on silage bells. We didn't run out. So uh, yeah, I don't know why. Whoa! I don't know why. That wasn't good. Uh, I don't know why it's um, had such an imbalance. Because that is. I'm going to have a look at this again. But uh, that is a lot. Of, uh, of silage we put in here. Okay, that, that mix in there is looking a lot better now. Uh, that is... Uh, wow, I can't believe that there was that much extra hay in there that we've had to... Uh, we've had to put three silage bales in to even it out. But at least we've got rid of that old silage bale now. That, which makes me happy. Yeah, I'm I'm very surprised that it took that much hay, uh, that it took that much silage. I and mean, we got we got eight thousand liters in that. which is quite a lot. Yeah, eight thousand four hundred ninety-two liters. Right, so let's get right here. And uh, now, when we empty out, there we go. Proper power food coming out now. Uh, they'll take most, if not all, of this, I think. Uh, they do have a fair amount already. Yeah, there we go. So they've taken all of that. That's good. Uh, we're going to go and get the bucket on our JCB now and clear some of this muck out. It's uh, it's fun just sort of nipping between the farm here. There we go. Uh, so I'm just going to park this here. Uh, I do need to go and drop this off on the other side. But uh, that will do. Right, let's get the bucket on here. We need to. Uh, we're going to, have to give them some water in a minute as well. But I just want to clear up that grass. I learned my lesson from last time. I got these spikes stuck in a box over here. So I'm going to try and keep them in a good place. There we do. Not quite as far in as I put them last time. And then our bucket is over here. And just put that on and clean out their feeding area uh, and then as I said after that we need to get some water we might be able to do the water with this I'm not sure uh, all clear Good. Yeah, traffic again traffic today has not been too bad Right, uh, they're quite can be quite messy eaters at times. And this floor here is not perfect by any means. It really makes your uh, there's lots of places to catch your bucket uh, on. Let's have a look at that. Not too bad at all. That I'm, I'm fairly happy with that clean up job. Uh, let's see if we can get those last few bits. Uh, but yeah, we've got the vast majority of their mess. Right. Let's see, if you go too fast, you catch those little bits. But that's oh, got it. Perfect. Right, so reverse out of here. There was a lot of cow manure in there, but until, uh, yeah, 
That's 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 okay. That situation in there with the uh, when you're in there, we need to we do need to clean it out at some point. But um, at the moment we'll also clean out a lot of good straw if we do that. So I don't want to do that. Right, and this because they this comes out here and goes into there. Perfect. There we go. I give them a little bit of grass. Oh. Not that they aren't already using it. Okay. So last thing, we need to go and get our tracks back. I oh, will close that gate. Actually, I was going to leave the gate open if we weren't going very far. But I'm going to go and get the tractor with our feed wagon on it. So we can put the feed wagon away and uh, sort out uh, some water from our tanker there. How full is our tanker, actually, is a good question. Our tanker... Oh, our tanker does have some in it. Hopefully that will be enough. Otherwise, we'll have to go and find some water. But it is really just a little bit of back and forth looking after the cows today. They are... The cows are producing milk well at the moment. It's... Uh, it's to the point where we might actually be able to invest in another tractor. Uh, we, how we're doing at the moment. It's it's moving along very nicely. Uh, I'm not sure, 100% sure on the usage of another tractor other than taking the weight off our, off our case. I'm also not sure what I would get. You know, there's nothing... The only thing I can think... Uh, that we don't, we isn't covered by what we have on the farm at the moment. That would speed things up. Would be a tractor with a front, uh, with a front load. Uh, sorry, not front loader, a front three-point linkage. Uh, if we could get something like that, what we could then do is uh, also get a front uh, mower, and then that would speed up all of our mowing jobs. But uh, I think we'd need to, to see whether it, whether it would really be something that would be massively cost-effective to us or not. I don't know. We, uh, we it's, it's not something I feel I need, to be honest. Oh, let's turn this off otherwise. I don't want the PTO to spin. I mean, it's disengaged, but I there are horror stories you hear where people have come to uh, disengage the PTO while the tractor's on and uh, and it's just spun and caused yeah, horrible injury so we won't do that safety first there we go and again, this has a PTO. That's why we've turned the tractor off. Right. And we need to go out the other end and turn around. It's too thin to get out there. It's quite a long way to go just to get water in. Now there's our water. Actually, while we're up here, let's fill the water up. We've got our hydrants up here. Plug the pipes in. There we go. Turn the pump on, which is now pumping in. This old uh, ten thousand, so won't it go further up than that ten. There we go. Pump off. Disconnect our hoses. Right, and now what we'll do is we want to get ourselves back down the other end and uh, and get the cows uh, give the cows some water. So we have to reverse out a little bit onto the road. Should be all right. I'm just trying to look around. The, yeah, okay. we're not doing it too far. It's uh, it's quite a tight yard. Makes it quite difficult for us to uh, to manoeuvre, but uh, we can do it. We're okay. We get by. 
I think I might have made enough space in the shed this time for us to actually uh, get this water tanker in there and then that's out of the way. Right, there we go. Now I think, which way does my pipe go? I think my pipe goes to... Yeah, okay, so we kind of want to drive in and reverse up to the, uh, up to the trough. Right where one of my cows is going. Right, there we go. Let's reverse this up. Shouldn't be a bad way. And we're just sort of topping this up. There we go. So the pump is on and that will go down. It won't take too much. Wow, I don't think it'll take too much. Might take half the tank at this rate. Quite easily. I only have about 50 cows, I think. Wow. It's going to take the vast majority of this tank. I'm glad I went and filled this up. There we go. Yeah, it did. It took a huge amount. So, that's all good. We are fine. Uh, as I said, we did fill it up, so that's good. I'm going to not drive over the grass feeding trough. Okay, good. And let's, uh, let's back this up into the, uh, into the shed again. But the cows are doing well and are making us money. What we do need to do is, uh, well, they've got, yeah, they're, they're grazing the, the grass there quite nicely. Right, and there we go. So that now can go in there really nicely. Again, we want to disengage the PTO. And I'll do it, and we will go and shut this gate before we get an escapee cow, actually. Perfect. There we are. Right, I'm going to take this back to uh, the main yard now. We'll go this way. Uh, but that uh, is it for today. Um, we've done a load of work with our cows. They all seem pretty happy. We had a bit of an odd, uh, a bit of an oddity with the mixer, but otherwise we are all good. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and I will see you next time. Goodbye.